What's up guys, Alex from FIFA Scouting Tips here and welcome to my guide to the best cheap high potential left midfielders and left wingers in FIFA 16. As always we're just going to look at my recommendations today but for the full article head over to fifascoutingtips.com. Every player there will have a minimum potential of 80 and a maximum overall of 75 just to help keep things cheap. So now let's have a look at my recommendations. First of all we have Ricardo Kishner. This guy starts at 75 overall and has 84 potential. He's 20 years old and plays for Lazio. His value is 4.6 million pounds and you can't actually buy him in the first transfer window. But if you inquire at the end of the January window, you'll get a prize of 8 million pounds. So you can buy him for around about 7 million pounds. His wages are 30,000 pounds. He's on a four year contract. He's left footed with a two star weak foot and five star skill moves. And he also has the flare trait and the injury prone traits. So that's something to think about, but I do feel that the benefits of getting him outweigh that. Because he's basically got so many things going for him, it's hard to know where to start. He's very pacey and has decent stamina, but he's also got 72 strength, which gives him a bit of extra space when trying to beat defenders. He's got 85 dribbling, 82 ball control, and five star skill moves, like I said. So that's perfect if you love using tricks but it's still great if you don't thanks to that fantastic dribbling stat and not only that but his crossing is excellent as are his free kicks so if you put those skills to good use he'll become a superb assist provider for his teammates. Next we have Fabian Castillo. He starts at 75 overall and has 81 potential. He's 23 years old and plays for FC Dallas. His value is £4 million. An inquiry will get you a price back of £8 million. So once again you can get him for around about £7 million. His wages are £25,000. He's on a 4 year contract and he's right footed with a 4 star weak foot and 4 star skill moves. He's also got the speedster and acrobat specialities. So he's up next and he is a slightly different player to Kishner but he is no less brilliant. He is even faster with 94 acceleration and 93 sprint speed and his stamina is better as well. His 77 positioning is exceptional and combined with his 72 finishing and powerful shot it will see him scoring plenty of goals and like Kishner he's also got bags of tricks and a very high dribbling stat so he'll beat defenders with consummate ease. And finally we have Kakuta Mane. He starts at 69 overall and has 80 potential and he's 20 years old and plays for Whitecaps FC. His value is £1.2 million and an inquiry will get you a price of just £2.2 million so you can buy him for around about £1.7 million. His wages are also cheap at £5,000. He's on a 5 year contract and he's right footed with a 2 star weak foot and 4 star skill moves and he also has a speedster speciality and long shot taker trait. So he may be cheap but he is a fantastic player for lower division sides. Starting with the obvious he has 96 acceleration and 92 sprint speed giving him one of the fastest acceleration stats in the game which will tear apart lower league defenders. He also comes with 75 dribbling and 4 star skill moves so in the very unlikely event that a defender can catch up with him he can just beat them with tricks instead. I'm now going to show you how my recommendations did after 3 years of growth. There will be no player training, just base growth so remember that if you train these players they can do even better. Okay, at first we have Ricardo Kishner and he's up to 81 overall at 23 years old. Just a couple of points off of his potential and he is becoming an amazing player. Uh, look at this, 91 dribbling and 88 ball control. Combine that with his 5 star skill moves, he's going to be almost impossible to tackle. He's still very fast, got that good strength and good stamina as well. A very powerful shot and 75 finishing, so he'll be scoring plenty of goals. And with 76 crossing and 78 curve, be good at setting up his teammates as well. Very, very good overall player with very high potential. Next is Fabian Castillo, he's now at 79 overall at 25 years old. His physical stats have gone up quite nicely, he's now on 95 sprint speed as well as 94 acceleration. Once again he's got amazing dribbling just like Kishner, 89 dribbling as well as 84 ball control and he too is good at finishing with a powerful shot as well and he can also shoot from distance. So wherever he is, don't be afraid to have a shot with him but know that he can also take the ball around defenders using his skills and his amazing dribbling. And then finally we have Kakuta Mane, he's at 75 overall at 23 years old. He's got amazing pace once again, that 96 acceleration is still going to be absolutely deadly. His uh, technical stats aren't as uh, widely skilled as the other players, he's a bit like Vidio in the right midfielder's video, but that doesn't matter because he's still so cheap if you remember. Only costs about £1.7 million and he's got 82 dribbling, 78 ball control and 76 finishing as well as 84 shot power and don't forget those 4 star skill moves as well. For the price you pay he is a fantastic fantastic player. So that is it for my guide to the best cheap high potential left midfielders and left wingers in FIFA 16. Make sure you check out the full article on fifascoutingtips.com that will look at every left midfielder and left wing in the game with a minimum potential of 80 and a maximum overall of 75. Not just my recommendations, it's got everything like their prices, their wages, their skill moves, their weak foot, all that kind of information so you can find a really good left midfielder for your team. 
The uh, scouting god contest has changed this month. It was originally on the strongest players, but I've had to change it to the best overall players because unfortunately I didn't even have enough submissions for a top five so far. So I felt like I was gonna have to change it unfortunately, but still it's now on the best players in the youth academy. So they can be any age, any position, you can use training if you want, as long as they are still in the youth academy. So if you want to enter that, make sure you take a picture of your best scouted player in the academy. You can then submit that on at FIFA Scouting on Twitter using the hashtag Scouting God, or you can submit it to facebook.com slash FIFA Scouting Tips, or you can leave a link to the image in the comments below or submit it on FIFA Scouting Tips.com. That will end at the end of November, so still plenty of time left on that one to find a really good scouted player. Keep all your feedback and uh, thoughts coming, all your ideas. I do try and read all your comments and put them into action if I can, so keep all that coming. Make sure you also leave a like if you enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching. So quick update on our youth squad, this is in October, we've only played a couple of months and look how many players we've signed, I'm just going to scroll through them now, all looking fairly decent, there are some which I might get rid of like this one here, 